there are so many things to love about this nation. Since everybody's hating it, here are five reasons why I love America. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. America is indeed one of the most disliked nations in the world. You don't normally hear people chanting death to Greenland or death to Canada, but to America, you hear that on many streets, including lately, American streets. America! America has produced some of the smartest people in the world, yet for some strange reason, people think Americans are not smart at all. It has been painted as evil, racist, xenophobic, greedy, and many other things. In the past, I really could not care less of what people thought of this nation. But as I lived here and learned of its history and the richness of its foundation, there are so many things to love about this nation. Since everybody's hating it, here are five reasons why I love America. One, the gospel. America has been one of the strongest voices, if not the strongest voice, for the spreading of the gospel of Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, it was American missionaries that brought the gospel of Christ to my little twin island nation of Trinidad and Tobago. So I thank God for a nation that produced a people with the heart to go into all the world to preach the gospel. If they did not do that, then so many people would be dismissive of the name of Jesus today. I believe that the time has come for America to reap what it has sown in the sense that people from all over the world will return to this nation bearing the gospel of truth. The very fabric of this nation is under attack. Its children have been brainwashed into embracing demonic ideologies, but the heart of this land will return to the Lord. Two abolition of slavery. America receives a lot of flack for its involvement in the slave trade. It's quite interesting that of the 12.5 million or so slaves in the then known world, America had only around 300,000 of them. Yet for some strange reason, many people think that America was the central hub. It wasn't. As a matter of fact, America was pivotal in the abolition of the slave trade. Here's some common sense questions that could be answered with little research and observation. Where was the most slaves delivered to during the slave trade? And in those areas of the world, do you see natural born descendants of those slaves living there today? In America, many of the descendants of the persons who were victims of slavery are natural born citizens today. This is not so for many other nations. Why? Because in many cases, as soon as the men came off the slave ships, they were castrated. They were not allowed to have families. In America, they were at least given the chance to have families. America led the world in abolishing the horrors of slavery. Three. Benevolence. America is known for its benevolence. If a natural disaster hits any part of the world, I assure you, if not the government of America, some American institution will be there to provide food, water, healthcare assistance. This is the nature of the nation and many of its people. As a matter of fact, many of the world leaders have recognized this trait of the American nation and sought to use that against them. Nevertheless, even to this day, America still gives. Despite its mounting debt, it renders assistance when and where truly needed. Four foundation. John Winthrop, an early Puritan leader that is considered by many to be the grandfather of America stated, for we must consider that we shall be as a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us so that if we shall deal falsely with our God in this work we have undertaken and so cause him to withdraw his present help from us, we shall be made a story and a byword throughout the world. America was built upon a Judeo-Christian foundation and thus implementing a new form of godly governance that would create one of the most powerful nations in the history of humanity. Today that foundation is being shaken. But if the people of this land remember the Lord their God, then America will continue to be a beacon of hope to the nations. 5. Food now, I may not know the history of all the foods in the world, but America has certainly produced some classic foods. I mean, come on, they created KFC and Chick-fil-A, what more do you need? While the elitist mentality is to be enamored with French, Italian, foreign cuisine on a whole, I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. You can't beat Americans for plain or good food. I'm not alluding to their 
inordinate serving sizes, but the mere availability of it. I remember one former president of the United States stating that America consumes too much of the world's resources. I don't know if that's true, but so much of its food is good. From the Cajun style crawfish to Tex-Mex to a plain old American cheeseburger, the food is good. I know much of it is unhealthy stuff. If you're a Bible reader, then you'll know it instructs us to exercise moderation. So there are many reasons to love America. You may or may not agree with many of my reasons, but those are just my reasons. Much of the problems we see in American society are quite deliberate. Joseph Stalin once said, America is like a healthy body and its resistance is threefold. It's patriotism, its morality, and its spiritual life. If we can undermine these three areas, America will collapse from within. It is no coincidence that American patriotism is now considered malignant. It is not surprising that we are seeing new morality, faulty and illogical in its very nature, but it's being called morality nonetheless. America's spiritual life has taken the biggest blow of all. A nation which once proudly declared the power of God to the nations is now at odds with the God of the nations. Many of you from other nations may be struggling to see the importance of this topic to you and your country. Ask yourself, why do so many hidden people want to see America fall? This is so because America is the one force in the world that is standing between us and totalitarian rule. Once America is in the world, the American founded on godly principles, dictators will think twice. Once they are out of the picture, then it's free for all. Interestingly enough, the Bible, as it often does, tell us what is to come. One individual will rule the nations. Sounds like a dictatorship to me. Unless you take his mark, you can't buy or sell. In other words, you starve. So, does that mean America has to be out of the picture for the Antichrist to rule? No, America could still be existing, but a mere shadow, a shell of its former glory. So, as we navigate the waters of these last and closing days, we must be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, lest we find ourselves fighting against the Lord God of heaven. Do not be compelled into hating any man. Do not be lulled into a false sense of security. Be sober, be vigilant, know that the time is at hand. Pray for America, pray for your country, pray for Israel, Pray that the Lord becomes the center of America's existence again. Pray that its people come to spiritual truth. If they do, then the world would be better off for it. Now think about that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't like it, like it now. Share it now. If you did not subscribe to Preacher Man TV yet, get on there and subscribe. Subscribe to Preacher Man TV on YouTube and click the little notification bell so that you won't miss another message. As soon as we upload it, you'll get a notification. God bless you.